And now, we go live via Worldwide Satellite to an interview with the visitor. Again, our correspondent is receiving the alien's voice from an as of yet undiscovered source, which apparently can control and simulcast over all radio frequencies, FM, medium wave, and short wave at will. He has chosen not to use television for a reason. We know from scientific observation that your planet has discovered a rudimentary kind of atomic energy. We also know that you're experimenting with rockets. Yes, this is true. So long as you were limited fighting among yourselves with your primitive tanks and aircraft, we were unconcerned. But soon none of your nations will apply atomic energy to spaceships. That will create a threat to the peace and security of the other planets. That, of course, we cannot tolerate. What exactly is the nature of your mission? I came here to warn you that by threatening danger, your planet faces danger, very grave danger. I am prepared, however, to offer a solution. Would you care to be more specific? What I have to say must be said to all concerned. It is too important to be entrusted to any individual. I gather that your efforts on the official level have not been entirely successful. I came to you as a last resort, and I confess my patience is wearing thin. Must I take drastic action in order to get the hearing? What sort of action do you mean? Violent action, since that seems to be the only thing your people understand. Leveling New York City, perhaps, or sinking the Rock of Gibraltar? Suppose this group should reject your proposals. What is the alternative? I'm afraid there is no alternative. In such a case, the planet Earth would have to be eliminated. Global environmental assessments uh, is not something that's been done. decides. Return for debriefing and detox. No, there is still work, still time. Your requests tire us. We have withdrawn the Guardian at your request to prevent provocation. What more can be done? But you have not seen, not heard. Many tongues, many minds, many truths. But the rehabilitation agenda is not met. The Council feels utmost danger at hand. If trends continue... I will continue to speak, to make signs, and to transmit through all their great systems. Yes. Their trend waves and wires spread, but followed only by weakness, spite, and folly. Will they kill their world before it attains wisdom? We are old. Even though our people and minds have spread, our minds, in a way, are small in that unity. Many in Council regret and resent these doubts of yours. Repeat, come back to your world. Leave them to theirs. Leave them to pay for what they want. No, you've seen their other works. It is such a terrible balance. I have managed others with your approval. Council considers. Stand by. The shuttle will depart now. However, if the agenda is not met in three decatones, it will return for you without discussion. The Guardian will then be restationed just beyond their alert zones. It will act accordingly. My peers will be rewarded with what this world can be, if it survives. 
Are my empathies too much with them? Am I lost between my dreams and theirs? Between my world and theirs? I can only do little and say much until the times of cruel miracles pass and dark fire begins. Uncontrolled release of tension and it's very hard to see how they can avoid major violence. Stop tougher measures against South Africa within six months unless such progress was made. But the president said only South Africans would decide on this. The universe grows smaller every day and the threat to aggression by any group, anywhere, can no longer be tolerated. There must be security for all, or no one is secure. Now this does not mean giving up any freedom, except the freedom to act irresponsibly. Your ancestors knew this when they made laws to govern themselves and hired policemen to enforce them. We of the other planets have long accepted this principle. We have an organization for the mutual protection of all planets and for the complete elimination of aggression. The test of any such higher authority is, of course, the police force that supports it. For our policemen, we created a race of robots. Their function is to patrol the planets in spaceships and to preserve the peace. In matters of aggression, we have given them absolute power over us. This power cannot be revoked. At the first sign of violence, they act automatically against the aggressor. The penalty for provoking their action is too terrible to risk. The result is we live in peace, without arms or armies, secure in the knowledge that we are free from aggression and war, free to pursue more profitable enterprises. Now, we do not pretend to have achieved perfection, but we do have a system and it works. I came here to give you these facts. It is no concern of ours how you run your own planet, but if you threaten to extend your violence, this earth of yours will be reduced to a burnt out cinder. Your choice is simple. Join us and live in peace or pursue your present course and face obliteration. We shall be waiting for your answer. Decision rests with you. <laughs>